welcome to today's video. We are standing up on the Blue Ridge Parkway. We've been riding it up uh, for basically the Knoxville. Well, technically, I guess we got in at Cherokee. And I'm here with a veteran taking the ride with me today. If you don't know, I travel the country. I uh, share rad roads and uh, beautiful areas, restaurants, things like that. And uh, on my trips, I always try to take a veteran with me um, free of charge. I take them, I cover the gas, the hotel, all that type of stuff, and just show them the country that they fought for. It's kind of my way of personally saying thank you for my freedom. So if you're into that type of stuff, please go down, hit the click that subscribe button down below. But with me today is a veteran, a Marine Corps veteran, Cody. Morning. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, how's the trip been so far? It's been beautiful. I've been loving it. So we are standing up here at, uh, I guess, Craggy Gardens. We're <laughs> sitting at Craggy Gardens up here, just a beautiful view. Little visitor's center, American flag flying up there. It is a beautiful morning here. I think we're still in North Carolina. Yeah, I believe so. But we may not be. We may be somewhere else. We may be Virginia. But look at this. I am on the 2019 Indian Dark Horse. And my boy Cody, you are on. 2018 Heritage Classic. And it's a beautiful color. Look down into this valley. I, I know the camera just can't do it justice. But I'm telling y'all, that is gorgeous. It is. A few things about the Blue Ridge Parkway before we take y'all down it. There's no lines on the side of the road. The blacktop just goes right into the pavement, which is kind of cool. Uh, it just kind of blends into the side, into the nature, if you will. Also, the speed limit is about 45 across the entire thing. Never gets over, sometimes it gets below. Can make it a little slow riding, but there's so much to look at and so many beautiful curves. It's not really that annoying. No. 469 miles in total. I think it's about 12 hours to do the entire thing. And um, yeah, we are on day two. Let's go see some of the roads. So we found this little uh, roadside stop to grab a bite to eat, and it looks pretty, pretty off the beaten trail. So I think it'll be cool. It says uh, Mountain View Restaurant, dine with a million dollar view. Let's put that to the test. It says it's a million dollar view. Let's check it out. That is a million dollar view. <laughs> Look at that. Whew. So if the salad is any uh, example of what this lunch is going to taste like, it is going to be great. That is absolutely the best honey mustard I have ever tasted in my life anywhere in the country. It smelled good. <laughs> I wanted some. I should have got a salad. <laughs> this place definitely gets two. Count them. One, two. One, two, two thumbs up. Really good food. Get the black and blue burger. You won't go wrong. coming in behind us you can kind of see it back there it's looking dark Cody yeah. very dark Very dark. so the plan is uh, we're gonna try to make uh, make our way towards New York City I think it'd be uh, nice to be able to show him ground zero and uh, downtown New York City Times Square all of that so we cut off of the Blue Ridge Parkway we're banging up the interstate I think 81 we're on 81. and uh, we're gonna try to make it close to New York tonight to where we can make it for New York City tomorrow night and then into Laconia. Then we turn around and head back because it's a big weekend. We've got uh, the Americans party at the Car River on the 21st, so I have to be back for that. 
and um, basically it's all just American made product, American made uh, companies. We still got room for vendors, if any vendors want to come and be there and uh, of course there's going to be fun and music. And anyhow we're going to have some fun, we're going to do some American stuff and I think the campground's damn near full so it should be a party. You're going to be there? Yeah. Alright man, come down and meet my boy Cody and myself on the 21st to Cripper. Uh, for now, we gotta get back to these horses. Whew, that is, my friends, a night. We have, uh, gotten to our destination for the night as far as we can go the storm has kind of started um, forming all around us we got ourselves a little dry pocket here so we're gonna bunker down here for the night and try to hit it into New York City in the morning my boy Cody unloading his bike Gotta get up. was it a good day Cody it was an awesome day <laughs> was good riding, some hard riding yeah buddy it was good. It's been good. Bike's looking good. It's like it didn't even get dirty. Not even like a speck of dirt on it. Look at that. This thing don't get dirty. It just, it's that glossy. I, I've never watched it. just don't get dirty. <laughs> <laughs> the war horse is looking good. No, it's not the war horse. It's the dark horse. The dark horse is looking good. And look what I did to the dark horse. Oh my. It's a sticker. Look at it. Pretty. That is the official first sticker on the dark horse. Since I've gotten it, I've kind of wondered, do I do the stickers, do I not do the stickers? And today, I just decided, you know what? It's just my thing. So, I started doing that years ago with the war horse, and uh, all my traveling bikes have gotten it. So, it's cool, man. They're a badge of honor for places I've visited in honor of these fine men and women right here. My soldiers, your soldiers, don't forget them. Go out and thank a veteran today, tomorrow, and frankly, thank him the next day too. All right, y'all, we are going to call it here. We will see you tomorrow as we take you into New York City, but it looks like we might have to do so in the rain. In the rain. We'll talk to y'all later. Thanks for riding along. We're not quitters. Mm-mm. We're stubborn. We are the Americans.